Okay, I'm gonna do a silk screen. So I'm using our silk screen black. It comes in a one ounce jar, two ounce jar, which is this size. And then we have a, a larger one that's a four ounce jar. <clears throat> I've mixed it with our glass medium. And what you're looking for is kind of a runny uh, peanut butter or honey consistency. If you have it too thin, it's going to weep underneath your design and cause a blur. If it's too thick, it will not go through uh, the openings in the screen. Okay, And you want to make sure that um, you're using your squeegee on the slanted side. You can see that this one has a little bit of a tilt here. Okay, so you're going to be going across the screen like that and you can hear that noise and that's what you want to hear you want to see the impression of the design when you do this you need to make sure that your color is the full length of the design and I'm putting this on an angle which is a little more complicated so I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna just anchor myself down also normally I stand up when I do this um, I'm gonna start it here Quickly pick it up and do your other and I go back over it a second time afterwards flip your squeegee over that way you can put this back in your container and I just leave it in here and use that uh, to, when I need to do another one I just reconstitute it okay and that looks pretty good all right so that's all of that one. Um, you've got your screen now that has some excess. So what you want to do, you want to salvage that. You don't want to throw it away. Uh, it's too expensive. So what I do is put it on a paper towel and then I'll come back with my squeegee and pick that up and put it back into my container. Then immediately go wash this. Uh, if you have a sink with a sprayer, that's great. Um, rinse it both sides. Lay it on a paper towel to dry. Uh, don't leave it laying on the paper towel too long. It can actually stick to it. So make sure that you remove it from there. Just kind of pat it dry and then leave it on there. And that'll be good enough. Okay? Okay. Uh, what I've done here is silk screened on a piece of glass on one side then I've turned it over and I'm applying my enamels on the other side and this is a real easy way uh, to get color on there so you don't have to go in between all your different lines I've got a light uh, color on the outside a medium and then a dark towards the center so I'm using uh, 350 351 and 352 are the colors that I'm using. So what you do, you have your enamels pre-mixed to the proper consistency, and then I'm just gonna flood on like an outer area. And you can see I can apply quite a bit and then pull it in to the area that I want it. because you don't want it to be too heavy, but you also need it enough there that you can blend it with your next color. You can even like pull up some individual lines, just wipe off the excess, go right into your next color. Apply that. And then I wipe off the excess and then because you're on the back side you do need to push down and touch to the glass so you can kind of pull some lines back and forth which creates interest and then I'll take and I'll wipe some of that off if you want more of the light to come up further then add a little bit to your brush and pull up and then the gap will fill in if you think you don't have enough color on there you can pat a little bit back on there but press all the way down to the glass 
You can also do this with the toothpick even if you want. You can scratch the colors back and forth into the area. Okay, so this is the deep cerulean. This would be our shadow, our darkest color. Wipe off my excess so I don't waste it. And then I think I'll just pull some lines. Remember what you're seeing is the back side. And if you're unsure, like that one did not close, so I'm going to just add a little bit more. Pull one down. A little bit more dark. Pull one down. Okay, then I'm going to turn this and do the same thing on this other one. So these two are already dry. So once again, I like to always start with my lightest color and work to my dark because dark tends to take over. It can overwhelm before you know it. It's too much. You can always add more. It's harder to take away. So you can butt the colors up next to each other. When you let one of these areas dry, then you can come back and flood next to the other one and they won't weep or bleed into each other. So keep that in mind. Give yourself uh, some drying time. And if you go outside your silk screen lines, you can come back after it's dry, flip it over, look on the other side, and then you can take um, a tool, a toothpick, uh, anything that you can scrape that back. Okay, so back and forth. I'm pushing down against the glass. So I'm all the way down. Okay, and then I'm going to switch to my dark. And if you want more of the dark, then add more of that in there. Everybody uh, has a preference, you know, they want more of one color versus the other. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is show you this one. Okay. So this guy has a uh, 310, 318, so vermilion, pumpkin, and lemon peel on there and you'll notice that there's a little bit of a smudge here of color where I've touched it so I'm just going to take that toothpick and get that off when you turn that over you see those colors and they're blended underneath there and then I'm going to come back and I'll put accents um, of some of the metallics the sparkles probably copper with the yellow and the oranges on this one I'll use silver with the blue and then I'm going to do some purples and greens on another one okay so fun easy decorating these butterflies are in our silk screens that are available on the colors for earth website uh, we have butterflies number one and number two and there's different designs in each one in different sizes so check those out Thanks.